Hey everybody, it's John and Keela back here at Workhouse Customs. It is another beautiful day for a mini moto ride. That's right, today we're going to go on a little mini moto adventure. If you haven't already, go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel. And if you like this video, go ahead and like it, share it, comment. It all helps us out, guys. Yeah, they're ready. All right, I'll see y'all on the road. Look and see if mine's on. Okay. Hopefully it's recording. Oop, little yellow truck coming. Okay. It's John and Keela back out on a, another mini moto adventure. You can't read that sign, we're in the city of Fort Wentworth. It's within Chatham County, not too far from Savannah. It's kind of an industrial little town, actually. We got Keela on her monkey back there behind us. You'll see her in a minute. Of course, we get the first red light. Let's see how quick this one changes, guys. <laughs> Afraid these might be on a timer. Oh, shoot. Proved me wrong once again. Those are signs for South Carolina, y'all. Hardyville, 11 miles, and Charleston, 111 miles. That's a pretty cool back road trip to go from this part of Savannah to Charleston, South Carolina, up these back roads. A lot of cool old stuff to see. Right now, we're coming up on the Houlihan Bridge, which is in the process of being dismantled, and it's gonna be retired into a museum. They are currently working on the new bridge. It's kind of going to be an overpass for the taller boats to go through. Speed limit 25. Anybody who knows these Grom clones knows I'm not going 45 like it says. But this. The Houlihan Bridge has been narrowed to one lane, y'all, so there's no telling how long we're going to have to wait at this light up here. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> this is only going to let so many of these cars go. We'll see if we can be one of them, hopefully. This is going to be kind of different, y'all. This is a steel great bridge on part of it here. As long as this light don't turn red, we'll just stay close to this guy. Oh, you got somebody behind you there, Keela. Oh, wow. Boat ramp is packed today. <laughs> That's like riding on a flat tire, y'all. It can be. It's a little old sailboat out there. I know for a fact somebody lives on that thing. Uh, enough sightseeing. We got to get through here before this light changes. scenic y'all but it is just a swamp to me there we got a good clearing right here off in the distance you can see the Talmadge bridge way out there I don't know if y'all are gonna be able to see it 
That goes back into downtown Savannah. Speed limit is 35. We got somebody right on us. And I'm probably doing about 45, even though my speedometer says 55. Yes, she did. Way to be safe, y'all. Way to be safe. Ooh, that was a broom in the road. Don't get me wrong, y'all. These things will go faster, but we were just trying to stay close to the speed limit. <coughs> Excuse me again. <coughs> oh, it smells very fishy right now. Speed limit just now went up to 45, and welcome to South Carolina, y'all, just like that. Okay, our turn is going to come up real quick right in this corner, Keila. It's a shame they don't have a sign out there. Yeah. Hey, we're in luck, y'all. It's actually open today. We're going to pull up to the visitor center, YouTube, and uh, check our cameras and things. And we'll get right back to you. Wildlife Refuge. Pull up a little bit closer. Y'all could pause it if you want to read the sign of things that are prohibited. Unfortunately, they don't allow you to use drones in here, so that would have been fun, but I guess people are irresponsible with that. Here we go, y'all. Let's go, monkey. This is the first time I've ever officially took my monkey on anything like this, unlike somebody else in front of me. I saw that video. You better be glad I love you so much. <laughs> yummy, 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 do snack time. You waited till we got all the way out here by all these alligators to say something, huh? You get a good good view of all the cranes over there at the ports. They're unloading the big cargo ships over there. Yeah, I'm gonna be watching them too. And they have porta potties all out here. There goes the plane. I hope I'm getting that in this shot.
I wouldn't even be a snack. <laughs> I wouldn't even be an appetizer. They'd be really mad if they got a hold of me. Ooh, dragonfly. Nice shade. read up on which wildlife's out here. It gets better y'all, don't worry. Oh, there was a rabbit. Rask rascally rabbit. Um, if we were in our vehicle, we could tune into a particular AM radio station and it, as you go through here, it actually uh, tells you about what it is, the wildlife that's out here, their natural habitats and all that other fun information. They had out out here. Count me out on that one. I'll wait till I get to the house. Photographers come out here and take different pictures of the different wildlife and the different species of birds and things. I'm afraid if I get in front of these guys, they're gonna catch up to me and they're gonna be riding my butt, so. Y'all can pause in on that. Rice field trunk. Huh. Well, I guess that's how they manage some of the water here. That is it down there, y'all. Wow. I'm sure there's turtles and stuff there. I'm just not seeing them at the moment. That side's more calm. This is great, y'all. Y'all don't know how long I've been waiting to do this. Didn't have my hopes up on the way here or before I left the house. Just because. It's been closed the last several times we've tried this. Beating alligators or harassing alligators is a violation of state and federal law. Remember that. <clears throat> don't have to worry about me feeding them. Some of these out here could eat me and this tiny motorcycle in one bite, y'all. I wouldn't even be a snack. Right? You're my snack. I wouldn't even be an appetizer. They'd be really mad if they got a me. Mile one, y'all. Gosh, how many miles was it? I can't remember. Well, I'll let y'all know at the end. We've got quite a ways to go yet. I believe right up here, you could pull over. And um, there's 
like a duck blind built in. It's for like taking photos of the different birds and things. It's a photo op. That road is closed right there, so we're not even gonna go that way. Reminds me of what, when I was a kid living in North Georgia, we were playing in the woods just like this all day. Now, this is not the area to play in, y'all. There is a photo blind in there, but we're gonna skip that just to get past these guys. Don't worry, y'all. This is only uh, five miles from my house, so we're definitely coming back now that it's open. Yeah, this is probably the closest thing to a trail, but this little Grom clone, we'll see. And definitely after a good rain, not. Pretty much it's just our two little mini motos, the Honda Monkey and the Grom clone. And if we don't drive through here like a wild man, probably our Suzuki Katana. The other ones are just way too loud for this. And we really do appreciate being able to come out here, so we're not gonna mess that up for nobody. there's not a lot of people like right up behind us and now they're not right up in front of us it's a good time to be out here yeah I just wish we could have got out here like all last year we tried we tried earlier this year in the spring we made a little video of it it was really uneventful it was a ride to the gate that said it was closed <laughs> Mile 1.5, y'all. Block gate. Area closed. Biological survey area. Well, wonder what they're surveying up there, y'all. Oh, this is pretty cool. The way the trees cover this old dirt road in the shade. Hey, happy birthday! She learned how to ride on that motorcycle, y'all. Yeah. Yes, the day we got this monkey, it had no miles on it, straight on the showroom floor. And it took me this long to just now put 500 miles on it. So, I'm, I'm really happy. What does this say? I 
y'all can see it, but we're eventually going to end up way over there where those cars are. This place closed back in uh, 2019. They say for repairs, but it was kind of a coincidence. It was COVID too, and I know for a fact they're still understaffed out here. It looks like a little trail, but not for me. Yeah, that's more for hiking. This is really cool. Glad they let you drive through here. Oh, there's a piece of machinery still there. Drive, I guess. Oh, uh, yeah, that gate's closed. That gate's closed. These gates is closed. Biological survey is going on, y'all. Looks like it'd be cool back in there. Right around here is where we used to see bunches of alligators. Kind of smells a little sulfury today. Sulfurish however the heck you say it that board out there is not part of the natural habitat looks like another way to control the water oh, it's a work truck a self-guided tour tour stop number three We'll try that another day. Today we're filming this for you guys on YouTube. I don't know, our centers do have built-in radios. But if I did that, I probably wouldn't be able to hear you talking, so. Well, we're catching up to those guys. I bet you there's some alligators or something to see up here. Be nice, my Grom clone. Yeah, they're going really slow up here. Makes me think there's something to see. See, the water was a lot lower the last time I was out here. The alligators were kind of blended in with the, the muddy banks. Now you can't see the muddy banks. Hopefully they don't come up on the road, the sun. I figured we'd see some turtles and some gators sitting out in the sun somewhere, but that water is kind of high. I don't know if I want to see it. down and take a closer look over here because they blend in with this mud.
Not seeing them right this second, y'all. Might not have been the right time of day to come out and see them, but regardless, it's the only opportunity I had to get out on some kind of motorcycle ride, so here I am. Enjoy the ride, y'all. You know, eyeballs poking about the water. <laughs> Guess they're all just slowing down, trying to find one too, huh? Really windy. Yeah, this water's really high. It's a nice view anyway, y'all. another there's, there's another motorcycle behind it get up in front of me deal so he could pass us well I just got done saying I would not bring my big mine are all loud though they were built to be loud except for these ones I did put the exhaust on the clone and it's kind of loud but I'm not sure what this guy has. I didn't hear him. I seen him. So Yeah, mine aren't quiet enough. I'll be out here disturbing the peace. That ain't cool. South Carolina. I don't know. Even our newer Road King's louder than that one. Oh yeah, he's trying to get around that guy. See, that's Another reason why I wouldn't bring any of my bigger bikes out here. They just weren't made for this. Then to go that slow like you, like we're doing right now. No, they don't like that. They overheat. Like you said, even your rebel's too loud for this.
we're just enjoying the swampy scenery. It's still cool that they opened the place. I promise we'll come back and you will definitely see alligators out here. Before, before 8 o'clock is when they close, y'all. We might stop up here somewhere and give these things a little, little breather. If I find a place that keeps us willing to step off of hers for a sec. I don't know if we're going to get another shady area like before. The truck up there stopped. It kind of stinks around here though. Oh, it smells like small bass mud butt. suspension don't, don't worry about us harassing or feeding the damn alligators turn mine off for a sec and just walk. <laughs> they ain't killing me. I need some exercise. I have to open that up a little bit. I don't know the wind noise. I wonder if he's taking pictures of alligators. No. Nah. He's just taking scenic pictures. I'm giving my booty a break. <laughs> These clones have the most uncomfortable seats. Being a taller person, I've actually got to sit all the way back here. Hundred and three degree heat. I know. You can only go so far. Exhausted. <laughs> Ain't bothering me. There's a car way back there. It'll probably catch up to me here in a sec. Yeah.
You heard it from him, y'all. It's bad today. Oh, uh, that's three more than us. Oh, okay. Oh, there's some bubbling over there. Right? Or no? No, that's not bubbling. He was out here taking pictures of all the wildlife too. That sign said, alligators may live here. Yes, they do. <clears throat> well, that's a hiking trail. Hike at your own risk, that is. That's probably where all the alligators are hiding. Waiting for your ass to go in the shade and take a hike. Uh huh. Oh, cool. Oh, that's cool. He kind of blends in with that muddy water. He's big enough to give me a heart attack. Oh yeah, we've seen some huge ones out here. <laughs> No care in the world. Just chilling. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Now he's like perfectly with the branch in the Uh-oh. Oh wow, come on, show me that face. It's not camera shot, is it? <laughs> uh, it can get to know me from right there where it's at and me right here where I'm at. Oh, it's getting closer. It's like right in front of me. Don't give me no mean eye. Yeah, well, I'm not going to let that happen, because, and I will be gone in a matter of a second. Hmm. 
I'm a ninja. <laughs> oh shoot. At least we got to see that. Okay, YouTube, I think we're back. Get another battery in the GoPro. Died on me. Saw the only, only alligator in the whole place today. And of course, my GoPro wasn't going. Anyway, it's been some good scenery. Yeah. You're gonna fall down in the alligator's stank water. Yeah, keyless camera was going, so hopefully we'll get that that one alligator shot in there for you. It's a damn shame. We sat there for about five minutes and just filmed that alligator. Of course, we only had one extra battery with us. stop sign up there is the end of this road. That is just crazy y'all. Go figure. 
One alligator. I should have checked my GoPro right there before I left that alligator. <laughs> oh well. It's been another Workhouse Mini Moto adventure, you guys. If you haven't already, go ahead, like, subscribe, comment. All that good stuff. It really helps us out. And remember, remember to ride safe, y'all. And thanks for watching, you guys. We'll check you out later. Thanks, Emily.